What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the speed controller in an electric scooter. So, let's get started. Okay, so to replace the speed controller, you're obviously going to need your replacement speed controller. Uh, just make sure that it's the same voltage as the original one and it should have at least the same power output as the original one. Mine in this case is a 24 volt 500 watt controller and make sure that you have your wiring diagram available to you before you proceed. Now here's my electric scooter and I know that it has a faulty speed controller because whenever I turn the key on, the motor turns on continuously on its own with the throttle disengaged. So let's go ahead and replace the speed controller. So you can see here mine in this case is underneath the scooter and in order to get to it, I'll need to open up the battery cover and pull one of the batteries out in order to get access to all the cables underneath. So I'll start by opening up and removing the battery cover. Then the first thing you want to do is to disconnect the battery cables. And uh, after that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the two position switch that I showed you in one of my previous videos. Now with the battery free from all the cables around it, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. So now that we have the battery removed, you can see that we have full access to all the cables as well as the speed controller. So I'll begin by disconnecting all the cables that are connected to the speed controller and then I'll remove the speed controller which is held up just by a couple of zip ties. So you can see here that the negative lead of the speed controller is still connected to the other battery on the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew that wire from the other battery. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut all the wires that don't have a connector on them, including this brake light wire, which is why my brake lights turned on for a second while I was cutting it. So now the old speed controller is finally fully removed. So here's the old 250 watt speed controller next to a new 500 watt speed controller. And you can see that they are very similar in size so we shouldn't have any problem while installing the new one. So now I'm going to go ahead and test fit the new speed controller and you can see that it fits perfectly in the same spot as the old one with full access to all the cables coming from it. So now to attach the new speed controller, I'm just going to use a couple of zip ties to hold it in place. Okay, so now let's move on to the wiring. So I'll start by connecting the throttle cable first and as you can see from the wiring diagram that it has a 3 wire cable. connect the key switch cable and it looks like it has two wires coming from it, a blue wire and a red wire. 
Okay, so you can see here that both connectors are the male type connectors. So I'm going to go ahead and replace one of them with a female type connector from the old speed controller. So now the key switch cable from the scooter can connect to the speed controller perfectly fine. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and connect the battery cables to the battery connector, but I'm not going to connect them to the battery because that should be connected at the end. Now unfortunately, I don't have a matching battery connector that would match the connector from the speed controller, so I'm just going to temporarily use two female connectors that would connect to the two pins of the battery connector on the speed controller. Now I'm going to connect the motor cable to the motor and again I don't have a matching connector at the moment so I'm just going to use two pieces of copper that would connect to the motor connector. Okay so now I'm going to connect the brake lever cable from the speed controller to the brake lever cable on the scooter and luckily this time I do have a matching connector that I'm going to add to the brake lever wires on the scooter and connect it to the speed controller. Now I want to connect the charging port cable and it does have a labeled sticker on it so you could tell that it is the charging port cable. So you can see here that it is a 2 pin male type connector and my scooter has a 3 pin connector but with 2 pins inside. However it is the same male type connector. Now since I don't have any more 2 pin connectors I'm just going to replace the 3 pin male type connector with a 3 pin female type connector from the old speed controller and then I could slide the 2-pin male type connector into the 3-pin female type connector but it is absolutely critical to make sure that the red wire connects to the red wire and the black wire connects to the black wire between the two connectors.
want to connect the power light cable, but as you can see, it's a bit short, so I'll need to extend the cable from the scooter and then I'll connect the 2-pin connector from the speed controller to the 3-pin connector of the scooter, the same way I did with the charging port cable since it only has 2 pins inside. Now here you could see that the last wire should connect to the brake lights, but I'm not going to use that since I already have my brake lights hardwired to my brake lever switch. Alright, now that we are finally done with the wiring, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. Now that we're almost done, we could safely reconnect the battery. Alright, so we finally have finished replacing the speed controller, the last thing we need to do is to test it. So as you can see, the motor didn't spin up on its own after turning the key on, so now I'm going to try engaging the throttle. So as you can see, it responds perfectly to the throttle and it works flawlessly. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and as always, subscribe for more content. See you in the next video.